Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're gonna pick up right where we left off on day seven of spring year one. That means it's Mayor Lewis's birthday. Look at those Joy-Cons. I have a pair just like them, but the left one has Joy-Con drift. So we're using a pro controller. Let's see what the weather is. Oh, we have the Queen of Sauce channel. Yeah, this pops up every now and then and you learn a recipe. Stir fry. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil. Yeah, cooking is cool. Can't do anything about it right now, but... Weather's gonna be sunny tomorrow, all right. Pretty usual, and the spirits today are in good humor. Perfect. What we got going on out here? Hey, we have potatoes and parsnips? Sweet. And Willie's got a new fishing pole. We can't afford it. It's 1,800 gold, but we want that thing as soon as possible, too. Oh, this is stupid. This... You can spend stone and gold. Or money, I should say. To place wells around your farm to refill your watering can, but like the pond is right there. It just seems kind of useless. Uh, we need to save a potato for the community center. So we'll just do a generic one. We got a gold star one though, that's gonna sell for a bunch. Still no gold parsnips. Actually, speaking of that, now that we can do fertilizer, when these guys here plucked out. We gotta drop some fertilizer down for the next batch. I think we can do one more batch before the 13th. Yeah, that's the priority right now. The 13th is the egg festival, and at that festival, strawberry seeds go on sale. And I want to buy a bunch of those, so the goal to keep in mind right now is how do we still keep seeds in the ground and kind of work towards upgrading our tools and getting that fishing pole while also maintaining enough money to be able to bulk buy a bunch of strawberry seeds on the 13th, which is not too far away. Let's fill up the dog's watering dish and say hi. I don't know what purpose this has. I don't think there's a dog race festival like in Harvest Moon, but I'm not sure. All right, get these mixed seeds and finish this random plot for now. Well, yeah, like, probably once we get those strawberries, this mixed stuff is gonna stop. I mean, it's nice, it's just a little bit of disarray to it, you know? Like, some of these are potatoes, some are parsnips, some are cauliflower. So you never really know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we've got some things for the museum, the community center, but first... Let's walk into town and get those potato seeds. So we want to get those back in the ground too. And a daffodil, that's perfect. We'll stop by Lewis's house and give that to him. That way his birthday is out of the way and we can just treat the day like any other one, you know? He should be in his house. birthday. Clint wants 25 copper ores. Eh, I need them to construct a furnace, man. Cookies! Sweet! Your in-game mother mails you some of those. That's gonna be coming up soon. But that's a really good energy boost, and hey, more green algae. Lewis, happy birthday, sir. Can I have your hat? Have a flower. Oh yeah, the gifting journal thing. Perfect. But that's actually a good boost to friendship. If anytime you remember somebody's birthday and give them a gift, the gift is worth more than on any other normal day. So that's good. But there is decay. Like, if you don't talk to people all the time, they're just going to start not liking you. All right, can we buy another nine? Yeah. We're struggling, but it's gonna pay off. We dumped some potatoes in there. We got some parsnips. So we're gonna make that money back, I think. Fishing. Like, even though the spirits are in good humor, mining comes to mind. And we could. I don't know. I, I haven't decided. But remember those strawberries. We need money. So, first things first. Where is the sap? We gotta get some fertilizer. We gotta improve the quality, because that's more money, too. Nine of those. And there is better fertilizer. You can buy it from Pierre, and through community center stuff, I think you unlock some better ones. 
I like the mathematicalness of the, I don't know. It's satisfying in like an OCD kind of way, you know? When you do like one, two, three, shimmy, one, two, three. Sounds like a dance. Very nice. It's the sound effects, man. Just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just a satisfying thing. Maybe it is like the intro said. You're tired of all modern crap. Uh, the furnace. That's stone and copper ore? Yes! Oh, man. Smelt a copper bar. Okay, so for that you need copper or whatever mineral on hand and coal on hand. Alright, let's place it by the shipping bin just because it's easy to see it. Select your copper and talk to it. But we only have two coal, so we can only do two more bars. Uh, so while we wait on it, we'll get some wood. Trying to clear this mess out because, whoops, that's the hoe. <laughs> like I can never tell if there's a bush or weeds. It is a bush, okay. See, once you clear out the trees, you can kind of see better what's going on in this mess. But yeah, the copper smells very fast, so. Do we? Yeah. But the next one is iron, and that takes a lot longer, and then gold takes even longer. So, like, as you progress to the better minerals, the bars don't smelt nearly as fast. Like, copper, you can just hang out on the farm and get a ton. But, uh, we got a day to do. We got... We can't just sit here. We have a crab, we have a topaz. The earth crystal we already submitted. Get the potato. And the rest looks like snacks and things for when we do go mining. Do we want to go mining, or do we want to fish? This is the thing. I feel like fishing might be the priority. As sort of painful as it is to know that the spirits are in good humor, it like makes you want to go to the mines. But maybe it has an effect on fishing, I still haven't looked that up. Harvey, what are you doing? Don't care. I feel like animals and general friendship with people. It's not really a priority at the start of things, you know? Okay, so the crab is for the crab pot bundle here in the fish tank. Well, see, this is an example. Look at how many choices we have, but we only need four more of those things. Well, some of those wash up on the beach. Oh, that's another thing, the bridge. Spring crops, let's get our potato. Yep, and the other two are growing, so just a matter of time. And that's that. Now we gotta go see Gunther. And yeah, look at the time now. Like, it's already too late to go mining. Fishing it is. Grandma Evelyn. This makes me think of the grandma on Harvest Moon who likes walnuts. Haley wants a ruby. I don't think we're gonna get either of those done, honestly. Rubies are like a deep in the mines thing, unless you get really lucky. Will this give us something? Hey, we're gonna finish that shelf. Not that that matters, the tables are just tables. I don't, they have no significance. I think. So now the day is ours. We satisfied the birthday. So, yep. Fishing it is. And let's just think of stuff to talk about. Ah, oh, I should have brought the wood. I don't think I have 300 wood, though, to repair the bridge. Look at this. For the crab pot bundle. But at this point, maybe... Like, the crab pot bundle, it doesn't matter. You know? We can do that some other random day. It's not the priority. So let's do it. Try to get as much money as we can, you know? But yeah, I actually had to stop playing. I was feeling really sick. I don't know if it was the Pringles or the, the broccoli and the cauliflower attacking me late. My digestion system is all kinds of whacked anymore. Hey, look at that, that's a good one. Flounders sell for like a hundred. And it's Silver Star, or Iron, whatever. Yeah, it would be Silver. 
Yeah, there's been times more and more recently where like I'm trying to record something and I can't just because health issues. Like I, I was feeling weird so I stopped and went to lay down. And then I was like drifting off to sleep but then I woke up with like the shakes. I was hovering over the toilet, not sure what was going to happen. <laughs> not good. Hey, a gold anchovy. Now, some of these go to that uh, fish tank bundle, too. But... Look at this, the main character's neck. How sc scrawny it is. I don't know, it just looks weird to me sometimes. It's like, why even bother setting your eye color? You can barely tell. Driftwood can't do anything about that yet, but... I was watching Sylvester Stallone videos again. I don't know. It's, every now and then I start watching interviews and somehow always stumble on those ones again. I mean, I know the dude has a crazy ego, or he did when he was younger. But, like, as he's gotten older, I don't know. I kind of respect the guy. I guess it's just that story of hitting rock bottom, you know? Like, at what point are you going to, like, look in the mirror and make a change, you know? How you doing? I'm fishing here. I also saw a video of him selling his watches. Or something. Apparently, he collects watches. <laughs> to each their own, I guess. It is a popular thing. I have, like, a second or third cousin my mom always tells me about. Who started doing that? Like, he was working some normal job, and then he started, like, a YouTube channel or something, or a website, about watches. And it took off, and now he's he's making crazy money just mm -hmm. talking about watches. <laughs> like, alright. I guess when you think about actors and stuff... Well, I don't know, because they do learn skills for their roles. So I was going to say, it's like, what are they actually doing besides just playing pretend, you know? I guess you could dissect any profession, anything that any one person does. Yeah, he's talking, I want that fishing pole, man. Because only the next pole that he's talking about can we attach bait to, and it really does lessen the time that you're waiting for a fish to bite. And just overall improves things. What's up, Sam? Yeah. I guess we treat people like this in real life, kind of like, yeah, I'm just here to press A in front of you. I don't care what you have to actually say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, like walking around the grocery store or something when somebody's just like, hey, how you doing? And you're just like, oh, hi. Like, that's kind of like just walking by somebody and pressing A and like carrying on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? It probably isn't that big of a deal to get rid of that. Now, ocean fish? Do we? Yeah, we do. Sardine. Just makes me think of Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. The eyebrow dad. It's a good movie, actually. Yeah, all of these we haven't even seen yet. Except for that one, the sunfish. Like the wind chime noises in here. Do, do, do. Do. And then another do, 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 do. <laughs> that song, dude. What was I talking about? People, pressing A in front of them, Sly Stallone, watches. Oh, yeah, dissecting people's career. Like, you, this YouTube thing. Like, sometimes when you think about how people are just hanging out. Um... 
like streaming on Twitch and stuff? Is that not just kind of like hanging out, watching people play games or something? Like, I don't know. But you think like that's somebody's living. Like you could look at that easily and dissect it and be like, oh, well, what are you actually doing though? But I mean, like I was saying, you could probably do that with anybody's way of living. I guess actors were kind of like the first one to get that crap too, right? They're like, oh yeah, he's just a Hollywood actor. He wouldn't know a day of work in his life. Or like if his life depended on it or whatever. But that said, too, I think it's, you know, you can't argue that there are some professions that are absolutely better than others. Like firefighting, for example, like anything that does something good for somebody else. Two hundred thirty-three wood, man. How do you get wood so fast, while simultaneously getting a lot of fish? You must be down in the snacks and stuff in order to do that. But then you run out of snacks for the month. <laughs> I don't know. This is the the juggle. It's always keeping in mind the priorities, I guess. Yeah. It would be nice to get another furnace going, but at this point, the bars are more important. And copper fuses so fast, or smelts so fast, that it doesn't really matter. What did we get? Oh yeah, look at that, man. Nice. It's not going to be enough for the pole, though. Day 8, too. Parsnips? No. Sunny again. Mildly perturbed. I mean, you can still go mining. Fences, yeah, I don't care about fences. Fences are important for like when you have animals and you don't want them wandering or anything. Tomorrow might be parsnip day, I don't know. Nothing going on out here. Got a random cauliflower from that first mixed seed. If it's just standard quality, we'll use that one for the community center. Hey, look at that morale mushroom to the left. Oh, heck yeah, man. Those sell for good. And, uh... The community center one, too. Like it's an option for one of the bundles. Anyway... Running out of water. Yeah, as you upgrade your watering can, just like in Harvest Moon, it can also hold more. In addition to being able to, like, power it up and water, like, three in a row whole plot, you know. Man, that's a gold star quality, too. Crap, now I want to sell that. We'll see more. So the community center one, like, I don't know why I care so much about getting those bundles done. Because some of them, they are kind of just whatever rewards. I think the 300 wood is important. Let's... Once we repair that bridge, remember I was saying... In case you don't know. Uh, oh, another one? Sweet, that's standard quality. Well, there you go. One to sell and one for the community center. That's the benefit of the forest farm. Because I think they don't start appearing until, like, the fall or something. Or they're not available until you can get to the secret deep woods area. But you can't get that until you have a steel axe. And we're not anywhere near that. we got to get copper axe first. And then the next one. And that's a lot of money because it's like 2,000 to get to 2,000 money and five copper bars to get the copper one. And then the steel one costs 5,000 money. I don't want to say gold even though it's a G because there's actually gold ore and gold bars. So if I say gold, it could be confused with the gold that you collect and find rather than like your currency, you know? Roundabout stuff. Oh, I'm doing so much explaining. 
when I'm the one who's like five years late to this game. Ah, yeah, well. Definitely plop that one in there. Well, we have the wood now. 89 wood on top of what we had. So many random dandelion qualities in here. Just taking up space. At some point, we might need to make another chest, though. Like, it's good to have a seeds chest to put, like, the... The mixed seeds and we're gonna have fertilizer and stuff later or a mining chest just put all your weapons in there I don't know how much this sells for 45 energy is nice that's equal to a field snack but okay getting a late start into town 10 a.m. look at this two daffodils all right I love grabbing these on the way to town because then you know Basically, whatever the first girl or whoever you see, you just shove a flower in her face and be like, how's the taste? And then she'll be like, oh my gosh, it's a flower. And that's how you breed happiness. <laughs> if only. Almost Vincent's birthday. Hey, slay four green slimes for 240 gold. Absolutely. Field snack. See, there you go. There's the plus 45 energy that we just sold. Good thing I dropped that. Oh, newspaper. I don't even think when you recycle that it turns into anything worthwhile. Maybe. Let's get this morel mushroom so we don't have to think about it anymore. Let's put it in that exotic forages bundle. Like, that's an example. This is another one that has, like, multiple ones that you could put in, but you don't need all of them. Yeah, see? Cave carrot. And those jars at the bottom, those are the syrups, like maple and pine tar. So as soon as we can build a topper, or a tapper, whatever it is, we'll get that one cleared fairly soon. Maybe like another two in-game weeks or so. Yeah, this dude's neck. It's really off-putting to me sometimes when he, you just stare at his neck as he's walking down. I forgot the wood again, dude. We're low on energy. Well, we have the snack from the trash can. You don't have to eat them only in the mines. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're back to the fishing. As soon as this energy bar gets beyond the casting limit, I'm eating that thing. I haven't had a granola bar in a long time. Because it makes me burp. I don't know the whole grains, dude. I don't know if I'm developing an allergy or what. It's weird because I did go to the doctor for like several different things recently. And I feel like I got no answers. They're just like, okay, well, I think you're hyper aware, but we'll order this test. And then, like, nothing ever gets resolved. It reminds me of that one comedian's joke. Uh, what the heck was Who was it? Brian Regan. Yeah, he was going on about going to the doctor or whatever. <laughs> I mean, there's several comedians that say the same thing. Basically, just as you get older and you express to a doctor this pain that you're having, they're just like, yeah, that happens. It's part of your life now. Get used to it. <laughs> like, there's no solution anymore. And I'm just wondering, like, already? I'm still in my young 30s here. All right, let's eat this thing. I know, it's all your lifestyle and your attitude. You can change things around if you want to. Goes back to the Sylvester Stallone thing. It's like you could sit there and cry that stuff sucks. Or you could be like, all right, I'm not accepting this. I'm going to make a change. 
54 energy now. I want to start giving daffodils to Leo over here. That's her cabin down there, but you can't ever go in it until you're her friend, which I don't know how many hearts she has to have for that, but uh, she tends to be like right over here. Gather some wood while we're... Actually, yeah. We might have time to swing back to the beach and repair that bridge just to check. 3 p.m., man. You know the 3 p.m. sun? 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. It's the easiest time to detect in real life if you're outside based on the way the sun looks. It's something I've had my whole life. I remember being out playing, riding my bike up and down the driveway nonstop, having the time of my life, and then the depression would hit because the 3 p.m. sun would be there. And I'd be like, oh... Or 5 p.m. especially. It was like, it's dinner time, and that means homework, and then bed, and it's so stupid. And, like, ever since those days, I can, I feel it. Just, like, based on the lighting around me, I'm like, wait. There's a foul thing in the air, and then it's like, <gasps> the sun. It's, a, it's setting. I know exactly what time it is, and, like, I'm usually right. Like, if ever it's a group situation and people are like, hey, what time is it? I'm like, oh, it's like 3 p.m. And they're like, what? How do you know that? I bet you're wrong. And then they look and it's like, dude, it's like 2.59 or like 3.01. How did you do that? I'm like, because I can feel the depression. <laughs> 5 p.m. is definitely worse, though. Maybe there is a demon haunting me, and that's who I feel at those times. Who knows? Let's get this done. 300 pieces of wood. There's a beat to that. All right, please be good. We got a sea urchin. There could be a bunch of stuff or like no stuff over here. Is that it? Oh, well, darn. There's coral that's usually like gold quality and stuff. It's just a nice thing to, if you ever come to this beach, always check over there. Because they're high selling forageables. And we need all the money. Like wood is no problem. That doesn't cost anything except energy to collect. And we do need a bunch of it like all the time, but it's like a day by day thing, you know? What can I get for you? You can get happiness from a flower, sir. I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. Imagine if people said that in real life. Do, 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 do. Sing another song while you give a flower to somebody. I don't know. Maru and Penny sitting on a bench. Look at this. What the heck? Prehistoric vertebrae. Vertebra, dude. Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. Turtles in time, man. It's time to play that game again. Just for the music. Yeah, we have like no wood now. So stupid. What do we do? 6.30 p.m. We don't even have enough wood for another chest. We have no food. Our pets' heads are falling off. Thank God they're not. There's a song lyric that has a very specific thing about the sun, like the 3 p.m. sun. No. Or am I thinking about Cheer Up Sleepy Jean, where it's like the six o'clock <laughs> alarm would never end. What other weird things did I discover in my wandering outdoors as a kid? 
Horseradishes, that's what. Sebastian, huh? Wait a minute, what the heck? There's a lost book. It's just kind of more tips in the library, that means. Or where we go to drop off the museum things. Gotta really be careful here with 11 energy. Oh, hey, look, a Linus cutscene. He's gonna get caught rummaging in the chat trash. But these happen from time to time, and then you get a choice of, uh... What? Oh, man, I accidentally skipped it. How the heck did I do that? I did not mean to do that. You Normally, he gets caught, and, uh... George thinks it's a raccoon and tells you to sort it, but then you realize it's Linus, and you get a choice to say, like, what you're doing is wrong, or, like, no, I understand what you're doing. And then there's, like, two other ones, like... I understand what you're doing, but you really should try to get a job. And, hang on. Yeah, he doesn't like us, really. But depending on what you answer when given those choices, it dictates, like, how much it increases or maybe even decreases how much they like you. Like, if you say something that they totally disagree with or whatever. I have no idea how I skipped that. Like, I know if you press minus, but I did not. Whatever. No leveling up. Look at that foraging, man. 507, that's not bad for just that stuff. 160 for that sea urchin. And that mushroom, dude. That thing is nuts. Day 9, we're getting up there. There's our 1800 for the rod. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Fortune teller, what's happening? They're very happy mining. Oh, man, what do we do? It's the ninth. Parsnips, yes. You might make my decision easier. Okay, wait, this is guaranteed money. And the 13th is still... Let's think about this. If we replace this, two of those were better quality even. All right, fertilizer. So sap, 15. Ninth, planted on the ninth, 10, 11, 12, 13th, the day of the festival. So morning of, before it starts, we'll get another harvest of parsnips. Of course, that money won't be there that day. I just don't know if I should buy the fishing pole now or hold off until I get the strawberry seeds. Well, we could just keep on fishing because as soon as I get that pole and attach the bait to it. But if we go mining, we'll get more bug meat because when you slay monsters in there, sometimes they drop bug meat. And you can craft that into bait, attach it to the pole, and then the next time you have a big fishing session, you could get a lot of money. So there's ways to, like, spend the money, but then make it back real quick, too. Get out of here. I don't want trees growing on my farm. Oh, I don't know. Let's just get the parsnips going, because... Well, that's the thing, though. If I buy those, I won't be able to afford the uh, rod. That's fine. I have it in my head now. It makes sense. So we'll get the seeds, hold off on the rod, go mining today, see what happens. Oh, Vincent's birthday. Slay six? Oh, perfect. Yeah, we really got to get down there. Crap. It's not open here. Breadstick? Yeah, we're going mining, all right. Because we have money waiting for us in the, at the start of the morning because those parsnips are in the bin. So yeah. 
That'll give us more than what we're gonna spend on seeds here. Come on, door open! There we go. I know this is really dumb, like parsnips are not the seller, like they're not good really. But we need five gold ones. And now that we've put the fertilizer in, I mean, it's basic fertilizer, so, and our farming skill still is brand new. Uh, I know that was a really dumb thing, but it just crossed my mind. Tomorrow is Wednesday. That place is closed. We can make the money back. Like, I just think it's important to have something in the ground. Because, like, if I would have held off on those potato seeds, we wouldn't have been able to get them tomorrow. And I don't know, I just... I mean, the potatoes aren't going to be harvested tomorrow, it looks like, because they're still tiny size right there. But... It's just nice to have them, because you never know what's going to happen. That's always the worst when you realize, like, oh crap, I need more seeds. But then it's a Wednesday and the thing's not open. So we got that. Now we just got to get that money back. Fishing is our... that's the thing. Uh, we could make the fertilizer now for it, but... Let's just get our mining gear. That's what we're doing. Spirits are in good mood. That's good. We got a cola, a breadstick. Well. Eh. I just don't want to take up too much inventory space. That's the thing. Because the breadstick is actually really good. That'll help a lot. I mean, uh, really, just the objective right now is five floors. Anytime we go, shoot for five. If it's going well and you're moving quick, maybe shoot for 10, you know? Or if you're crazy, push for 15 more floors. But it's gonna get harder and harder. But this is good, because we need more coal, we need more copper. And this is the only way we're gonna make it happen. Sorry I'm not really reading what they're saying, it's just... Press A to get the benefit and move on. <laughs> I mean, obviously, when like events happen. All right. Get the soothing mind music. Here we go. Bug meat from this guy. Perfect. Slay these slimes. Cause that was three hundred something gold too. That's another way to get that seed money back. Actually, we kind of have a head start since the 10th floor was just a treasure room we're already on floor 11 amethyst are you kidding me I, I mean that's not really like the greatest one but it's new for the museum right now get out of here stupid bug those things are irritating But yeah, Emily, or no, not Emily, Abigail likes those amethysts, so that's a good gift, but obviously not this early game when you need money. Alright, floor 12. Oh, these ones just walk to the end, and uh, there's a guaranteed staircase at the end. Oh, there's one right there. That's because the spirits are in good humor. That's... We're very happy, whatever the TV said. I'm gonna go the whole way just in case. Nah. Well, we got another slime. Gotta rack them up for that reward. I don't know what that little ding is when you beat them. See, like I didn't do it for there. Not sure if it meant that I completed the quest, because normally it pops up with something down on the bottom left if you do.
Talk to Lewis. Two days left. One day. Oh, that means this one is... Man, we can get two rewards? That's a lot of money from him. The same guy. 2.30 p.m. though. We gotta move it, dude. See, like, they're, even though they're very happy, like, this floor, so far, not really, oh, well, never mind, that's good enough. But it is possible to be here on a supposedly good day, based on what the TV said, and not find the ladder, but, grabbing this. See, even though, like, the main thing is to go down and down and down. Also, the whole point in coming here is to gather ore. There you go, that's 15. We're moving good, though. I kind of want to shoot for 20. Look at that, man. Anything else real quick? No, this is a dumb floor. Keep going. Yeah, if we can keep finding them that fast, that's perfect. What is today, Tuesday? Where is Lewis on a Tuesday? There's the thing. Uh, anything? Yes. Like 5 p.m., is he gonna be in the bar? He is on Friday, but I think Friday is like his party day. On the, normally, he might go to sleep. That's a problem for our reward. Let's eat this bread, so... Look at that, man. You see that huge jump in the energy? And obviously, that's not even the best possible thing. There's things that do a full heal. Yeah, I would imagine a playlist of these mining tunes would be perfect to fall asleep to. Six, sir. Good riddance. Already almost out of energy again. Floor 17. Crap. Come on, staircase. Or ladder, rather. Alright, well, we have other things. Strength of Cola. That's a very minor thing, though. Yeah, look at that. Barely did anything. Maybe just save those to gift to Sam. And seaweed, I think that's all I brought, right? That's... Yeah, we might not be able to pull this off unless we get super lucky with the remaining ladders. I should have just went up and talked to Lewis. Cave carrots, wait! Two of them, too. That's perfect, because one of those for the community center, and they're also really good energy. There's the ladder. Crap. Well, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we'll forego... How much does this do? Oh, yeah, that was a good boost. Plus 29. Like, if we miss out on the one Lewis reward, since there's two of them... Hopefully it's the cheaper one. But I really do hope for some reason he's at the bar or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what time his house closes, though. Only on floor 18. Get out of here. Can you be kind and spawn the ladder, please? No, of course not. I don't want to eat that other carrot because... I know it's needed for that bundle. And sure, we'll probably find another one someday, but... Get away from me! We're pushing it now, 8 p.m. Gotta talk to Lewis. It might already be too late. P.U. Lewis! <laughs> that outtake from Tommy Boy. Yeah. I failed big time here. It's 
not worth it. Just get out of here, jeez. No energy. Look at my health because I kind of stopped caring. That was a waste. I mean, we got copper, though. And the cave carrots. Only one coal? I forget what floor of the mines coal starts becoming pretty abundant. Alright, is Lewis awake? That's the thing. Given that he's old and the mayor and like traditional and crap, I have a bad feeling he might already be gone. Drop this off. This is just going to make it even longer though. Whatever. Sweet, only three more. So a tapper on each tree. If ever I get a different ring and have to replace this glow ring, that's going to be terrible. Lewis be in here. He's not crap. And his house at 10. After 10, he's probably closed. At exactly 10. I shouldn't have gone to the community center. I might have been able to do it. Oh, stupid. Well. One day left on that reward, too. It was the cheap one, though. Okay. So we're still going to get the 300. Just got to remember to talk to him tomorrow. And we've got stuff in the bin. I estimate that we will be close to, but not quite at the 1800 for the fishing rod. These, we already have one, so we'll get rid of those. Um, did we do a quartz? Get some copper bars going. We've got to get at least five to upgrade something. I can't remember if we submitted a quartz or not yet. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Why did... It's quartz, right? Whatever. All right, well, I guess we'll be ending the video after this day. Uh, just gonna hang out here and get some more copper bars. Be nice to have more furnaces. <laughs> that noise is ridiculous. I like the furnace noise, it's really satisfying. Out of coal. Crap. We're getting there though, we're gonna have four copper bars, one more. And then we will be good. Once we have 2,000 money on top of that, we could upgrade something. Mayonnaise machine, that's what needs the earth crystals, but I don't think we can even do anything with it yet. Oh, very nice. We do have the 1800. Sweet. All right, we'll see you guys next time.